tie in braided line to fluorocarbons is uh, is really popular now. I've been doing it for a long time. Uh, you know, I started off in California doing it with big top waters and stuff. Um, my favorite line to use for leader material is a Sunline shooter. Um, you can use you know just about any fluorocarbon, even monofilament. It doesn't really matter. I really prefer the shooter. Uh, it's very durable, very low stretch, pretty invisible too, which is really good. First thing I do when tying a leader is I put the line off the rod or off the spool to the left of my body. I'm right-handed, so I like to. It just works for better that way. It might be different if you're left-handed. And with the Albright, which is what we're going to be talking about, you take your fluorocarbon, give yourself enough line. You can do a little extra. It's not going to hurt. I put a little kink in it for a starting point, like so, just a little one. It won't hurt the line. Take your braided line, right through that loop you made, pull the, pull the braid up, now all, try to follow. Now the easiest way again is to actually follow a knotbook and, and there's a lot of demonstrations out there you can actually follow diagrams on paper and it makes it a lot easier. That's how I learned all my knots. Take it, you want to hold it again with this pinky finger, kind of hold it away, you don't need to pay attention to this right now. You want to take your braided line and wrap it down around your braid and fluorocarbon. Uh, the thing about this knot, you can double it. You can double the braid and do you can do four or five less wraps. With a single, it makes for a really nice small knot, but you have to do a minimum of 20 wraps. So it, it does take a lot. But once you tie this slip, as this really cool Albright, um, it's a very small knot and it lasts a long time. It really does last. I mean, I've I've used this on 20 pound braid and 20 pound fluorocarbon. I've literally caught you know two. 200 plus fish on it without having to retie it. And it's still strong, I still can't break it. So it's a very strong way of connecting your braid to fluorocarbon. So say you do about 20 times. I'm holding the loop up here, holding the fluorocarbon. I don't want this to unravel. I want it to stay the way it is. Take your piece you've been wrapping around. I reach my fingers through the loop that I've been holding with this hand that I've created, that I put the pinch in. Grab your piece that you're wrapping around pull it through that loop and cinching this slip is uh, it's sometimes tricky so you want to wet it a little bit all I'm doing is holding with my right hand make sure they don't slide I'm pulling with my left once you get it kind of cinched down you kind of work it now for instance I got it got a little looser back here I'm gonna pull the tag in a little bit as you pull it tight, just be slow. Don't go build, pull it tight fast. You're gonna, it's gonna mess up. This is one of those knots you gotta be really careful with. The slower you cinch it down, the better. Cinch it down. Kind of, kind of. What I do is I kind of, I kind of align the, the little loops you're gonna have. These little wraps. But once you get to that point, you're pretty much done. Now I got it cinched down. I didn't pull it hard yet. Just, it just did that automatically, nice and tight. Um, now you want to take your tag end here and your main line. Tag end mainline fluorocarbon. Again, with a, lot of my, with a lot of the knots I tie, I like to pull both of them at the same time, like so. And what I do is I usually slide my fingers off the main line and tag in, and I end up with just the main lines. <clears throat> and I pull hard. I don't pull, you know, again, I'm pulling a 16 pound line, you're not gonna break the other hand. So I'll pull really tight just once. Pull really tight once, you don't want to sit there and try to pull on and pull on. You're going to end up weakening your knot. And there we got that. And take your scissors, cut the tag ends off. And really you can cut them as short as you want. I've, I haven't had one of these slip out yet. They're pretty tight. And that's one way of connecting your fluorocarbon to braid. Very strong. Actually, the, the fluorocarbon is covered by the braid, as you can see. I don't know if you can get that. That's that's actually covered in braided line, almost like a shield. That's a really good way of connecting. I found with the Albright, I like that if you're using a heavier braid and a similar diameter, like maybe like a like a 20, 20, 20 pound braid, 20 pound fluorocarbon, 30, 40 pound braid, a 20 pound fluorocarbon, 25 pound fluorocarbon. I like the Albright better for that situation. There's also another one I'm going to show you in a minute. It's a uni to uni to actually like when you're using really thin diameter braids and thinner diameter, like a, say you're using 10 pound braid with like a 
eight or 10 pound fluorocarbon leader. I actually prefer the Uni to Uni more than I do the Albright. Remember SX1, the brand new braid, Sunline, awesome stuff. Find it at Tackle Warehouse.